Today, we're going to be folding this cute little Secrets Within envelope box. Welcome in to day 39 of our daily creative practice. I am thrilled that you are here today. I want to open this kind of, I'm going to have to put it down. I will zoom in, but isn't this just lovely? I made this one out of cardstock, so it doesn't really stay secure, but the little ones are cute, cute, cute. Let me open this one for you. Love, 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 love it. How about you? Isn't that just adorable? And so nice for you to tuck in to your little book that we're working on. And this was just a wonderful happenstance. I was going to put this on a page of a book. And I had coated this page with, um, with Mod Podge. That's what I had coated it with, because I usually do gesso, but I thought, well, let me see what Mod Podge does. And it gives it a little shiny look, but I came in here and sprayed it with my own little spray concoction, which is just alcohol, a little bit of water, and some red gel food coloring in this wonderful bottle that I found at the dollar store and it gives a wonderful mist so I just opened this page and I squirted it probably about five times just randomly and then I went like this boop. and when I opened it I had this amazing butterfly shape so I think I'm going to put my little box right there so it is it's thin enough that it will sit right there and the book will close nicely. So see? So this is great to use in your junk journals and your altered books. It's great to use on a piece of art, any kind of paper art. And it's also really good to give as presents, little gift cards. So any kind of square piece of paper will work any little square has to be perfectly square though so I am going to make it for you in a 12 by 12 size paper that I think you're going to be able to see uh, like I said the cardstock I really like it and especially the double-sided cardstock but it's a little bit um, bulky when it finishes and it doesn't lay flat so I'm going to make it in this 12 by 12 size today probably in the green because that's kind of um, a solid color and you'll be able to see it on camera better I hope and I hope I remember how to do this for you <laughs> so let's just dive in it is so much fun so at first you want to fold it and be careful with your folding anytime you're doing any kind of origami-like project. It has to be spot on when you're doing your folds. So you just fold it in half. I usually turn it over and check that it's good on both sides. You fold it in half the other direction. Make sure it's all lined up before I crease it. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and check up there that I'm still pretty square. Then we're going to fold it on the diagonal. And again, this is where if, it's, if your paper isn't perfectly square, you're going to see it right here. And if you aren't perfectly square, you're going to see it right here. bit off right on this side so let me see if I can adjust that somewhat there we go 
and we're pretty good and do it this way just take your time and make sure you've got it all nice and squared up okay so open it up and we are going to fold this point right into the middle. And then we're going to open that up and fold that right into that line we just made. And then we do the same on the other side. And if you don't do this little step right here, this piece will be on the inside of your box. If you do it, it'll be all smooth, but if not, those two points will be on the inside of your box. So if it's cute and you like the paper, you can leave it like that. It's kind of up to you. So then we are going to fold this up to the center line I kind of like to pull my paper up and see that I'm right along that center. And do the same on the other side. And these should meet fairly easily. I'm going to go ahead and get my Teflon bone, bone folder out now and make sure all these creases are pretty good and set. Your, your join points that you want to check on are right there in the middle and you want to check right here on these two edges that they actually meet neatly. I think I'm a hair off on this side somehow. Resmooth that. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, now I want you to fold it in two. There's already a crease there in the middle from our initial fold, but I just want to fold it there so it makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing on our next step. And it also is a good time to check that everything is in place. So those should meet perfectly together. Duh. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to do the hard part. This is the really hard part, and this is the one I've been sweating over showing you. But right here, you turn this edge up and out. Smooth it down and kind of bend that in a little bit. But that is the trickiest part of this box, is that fold right there because you have to kind of get this in the way. And you have to repeat that on the other side. It's not so tricky if you take your time. Don't rush with it. And I kind of crease that side with a fingernail if you have it. If not, you can do it with your bone folder. And then we're going to Bring these edges out and fold this up and it should come right there at that spot where all three meet. Right there. Okay. 
and then go ahead and smooth that, smooth all of that down with your brown folder. Then we are going to fold these two edges in toward the center. And they should go pretty easily. If you folded it right so far, it should be working. We are going to fold this one in to meet those. And this somehow always gets off for me. This is the wonky spot. But as long as you've got that point right along your middle crease there, you're pretty good. But somehow I always get off just a tad there. Okay. And then this folds out back on itself. And that is the center. That's what's going to open our little box. Awesome! So we do the same over here. <laughs> First thing we're going to do, we are going to do our little diagonal here. And this one is usually easier. It's kind of a little hard for me on camera to be able to show this to you and stay out of the way, but now that you know what you're doing, it's a little bit easier, and then we fold this one up. Two flaps in. Our little wings. And then fold this side up to the middle. That's our wonderful little box. <laughs> Don't you just love it? And then you can decorate and embellish it any way that you wish. And I guess I, I made it in this 12 by 12, so it would be easier to see online, but I really like to make these. This is the size that happens if you make it with a six by six paper. But any square works, so it could be two feet by two feet, as well as two inches by two inches. That would be teeny weeny, but you see what I'm talking about. Just as long as it's square to begin with, you can perform this little box. I love this, and I love you, and I encourage you to get into your creativity today and always and make it contagious. So, and once it's contagious, get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. This is Rebecca. May peace be with you all. <laughs>